Hello there. I hope that you know what a virtual hard disk really is. But if you don't know, I suggest that you check out the description of this video. There we have a link to the to the article in which we describe what a virtual hard disk really is. In this video I will show you how to create and manage virtual hard disks using disk part disk part 2 and uh, all the steps that you will see in this video can be done using the disk management tool using GUI so if you don't like command line uh, I suggest that you check out that other video so to get started first we need to run command line and I will run it using run as administrator option which will give us elevated privileges which we need to create virtual hard disks I will run disk part 2 and uh, the first thing we need to do is uh, create virtual disk file and command for that is create virtual disk file so we will create virtual disk in our C drive we will save it to the C drive the name of the virtual disk file will be temp dot vhd notice that we have to enter the extension and the maximum size of our vir virtual disk will be 15,000 megabytes we can also specify the type of our vir virtual disk which can be fixed or expandable but if we don't specify anything the type will be fixed I will hit enter and this will take some time so I will pause the video now so the virtual disk file is successfully created and if we go to our C drive we can see it here temp.vhd the next thing we need to do is select that VHD file to do that I will enter the following command once the file is selected we need to attach it to our system So the disk is now attached, but we still cannot use it because it is not initialized yet. If we want to create partition or a volume on our disk, we have to initialize it. So to initialize it, we, I will use the following command. and after that I can create a partition on this disk so to create a partition on this disk virtual disk I will enter the following command now after that I have to format this partition I will format it using the NTFS file system and I will label it as temp and we will perform a quick format and before we can use it we have to assign a drive letter to it in our case this will be E and that's it we can now work with our virtual hard disk let's try it now okay. 
we can also access it using Windows Explorer. Here it is. We can also, if we don't want to use it, use virtual hard disk anymore on our system, we can detach it. Let's go back to disk part. Before we can detach a virtual hard disk, we have to select it again. And now we can detach it. That's it.